Stage 7 of the Tour de France was a bunch sprint in the end, but not your typical day, really, with uh, the carnage that was out on the road. One of the big favourites, Team Sky's Bradley Wiggins, unfortunately crashed out with a broken collarbone, I'm, I'm led to believe, here with the, uh, the boss of the team, Shane Sutton. Exactly what has happened to Brad? Uh, well, we believe it's a collarbone. Yeah, we spoke to Brad, uh, just trying to keep the spirits up, really. Uh, and live to fight another day, you know, he's in the form of his life and I feel for him for the fact that he's put in so much work, you know, after last year and, you know, coming out of a good win in Dauphiné and carrying that good form through all the training and everything leading up to this and, yeah, it's a, it, a gut-wrencher but, you know, that's bike racing. Well, you say that's bike racing, it's exactly the point, isn't it? You were a former champion cyclist yourself, I guess you've, you've been through it in the past. What we did sort of briefly touch on before, though, I guess, is the investment in the sport these days. And when a rider crashes out like that, there's a lot of money, lots of millions of dollars that are spent and perhaps wasted. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say wasted. I said, you know, it's part and parcel to what we do day in and day out. And, uh, you know, these, as I said, these things happen. And uh, it was all we can do is roll our sleeves up. You know, we've got a lot of class bike riders on that bus, you know, Tom, Thomas and... You know, Fletcher, all, all the lads, R Rigoberto. Unfortunately, around's lost time there today. You know, he could have taken over the GC mantle, but lost quite a lot of time today. But yeah, we still got a lot of quality on the bus, and hopefully, you know, we can come back and uh, get something there of the tour. But as far as the investment, you know, yeah, it's the same for every team here. You know, uh, we've got great partner in Sky, and um, you know they'll continue to to support us. Uh, through the tour with or without Bradley but you know unfortunately it is it is a tough one uh. well look it has just happened you know the riders are still coming in now from the end of the stage okay. but I guess what is I guess now the next step thought what do you think you'll say to the guys and who will take over GC roles or is the stage placings now yeah I think you know that's something that we have to you know digest what's happened today sit down as a team regroup on the back of yesterday's you know big high and such a low today regroup and you know rethink our strategy uh, for what we want to get out of the tour but the main thing is you know uh keep the boys chins up you know they've they've, they've given 100 percent to bradley over the last you know over this season and and uh you know all through dauphine that team you know even with the aussie garens in there and all these guys you know it's going to affect them as well so it's our job as a member of staff to to get all the staff together get them to regroup and keep that morale as high as possible and like i said hopefully try and sniff out a stage win or whatever Oh, thanks, Shane. Look, uh, I guess bad luck there for, for uh, Bradley Wiggins and the Sky team, but, look, there's still a lot of racing still yet to come. Mark Cavendish obviously was the best sprinter on the day. Andre Greipel's back in the mix now on these flat stages as well. We'll have to see how the rest of the tour pans out.